Hey, welcome to Making a Drum Machine, episode 4. X or symbol and noise. Come on in, come on in. In the previous episode, we talked about a simple cowbell circuit based around two CD4106 oscillators and one CD4070 XOR gate. And today we're gonna build on that circuit. So we're gonna build all six of the 4106 oscillators and all four of the XOR gates. So we're not gonna waste any parts of the IC chips. As there's more oscillators going through more logic gates, the sound becomes kind of more complex or harmonically rich. So it's gonna be more metallic and it's perfect for hi-hats and cymbals. This is, what, this is what it sounds like. Here is the schematic for the circuit. So the different parts are pretty much the same as in the cowbell module, but there's more of them. So these are the oscillators and they're going through the XOR gates. And then here is the simple envelope generator and the crude diode VCA. I also made an output for the constant XOR noise. So we're just taking the noise before it's going to the VCA. And just like with the cowbell module, you can change these capacitors to change the pitch range of the oscillators. In addition to this circuit, I also added a very simple white noise generator to the module. And it is a circuit by SynthNerd, and I'll link his website in the description. And here is the, the schematic for that. The output of this circuit ended up being a bit too quiet compared to the other modules of the system. So when I'm using it, I'm always patching it through an external amplifier. And for building the module, I used the same oscillator bank PCB as in my clock module. And the rest of the circuit I built on these prototyping PCBs. And once again, PCB Way sent me the PCBs for this. So thank you very much, PCB Way. But hey, let's go and hear what the module sounds like. Woohoo! Okay, here we have it. Wee hoo, wee hoo. First, I will take a simple trigger from my sequencer and plug the output to my mixer and we should hear a sound and we do so here we have the pitches of the six oscillators and this knob here is the decay and up here we have the trigger input and the vca output and then the constant XOR noise output and the additional white noise output. I'll let the sequence play and I'll tweak the pitches a bit. So you can get endless different metallic sounds with just the six pitches. But the dry output doesn't really sound like a hi-hat, it's more like a weird bell sound. Especially when the pitches are a bit lower. So that's why I'll plug the output to a high-pass filter, a fixed filter, and 
It should be a bit more hi-hatty now. Let's cut the lows even more. Now it sounds more like a hi-hat. Let's see if we cut the lows a bit less. And then here's the constant XOR noise output. This is quite loud, so I lowered the volume from the mixer a bit. The noise output is also quite useful because then I can take the noise to a different VCA or whatever I want and use it just as noise. Let's patch it through the filter as well. Then let's hear the white noise output. And like I said, it's very quiet, so I will boost the gain of my mixer. And that's it. It's just the noise output. I'll plug it to the filters as well. Mm -hmm. And this sound is perfect for snares or shakers, for example. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess that's all I have to say about the module. Um, I'll end the video by patching some sort of a sequence with some other drum voices. That will be it. Uh, thank you for watching the video. And thank you PCB Wave for the PCBs. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. Bye. And let's use the white noise output for a snare. Then let's make a shell for the snare. Now we're getting somewhere.